Hello everyone, my name is Komosan and this is FNAF Weekly News, a series I do every Saturday to cover all the FNAF news we have gotten this past week. We have a ton of news to cover because it's the 10th anniversary of FNAF. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and tell me in the comments your favorite FNAF game. Well, let's start with the molts. So, we got a better look at the Chipmon and Sons Lumberkill U2's figures that are only available this month, so if you're gonna buy them, buy them this month because other than that they're probably gonna be sold on ebay or something for a very marked up price but we got each look at chip on tyke uh i think like tormite king and a sea bill which all i guess characters from chipples and sons but they look pretty good uh i really like chipples chip on his son uh, to be honest i like him way more than other ones but the tormite uh, the tormite king is pretty cute looking he's like little drink of alcohol which is very funny but yeah they are available only this month so you gotta pick them up this month or they're gonna be sold on ebay for like five thousand dollars we also got a fnaf book bag and phone case this time so lounge fly has released a daycare attendant backpack and card holder wallet exclusive to gamestop available to pre-order releasing on september 12th so next month we're getting a sun and moon because they're both combined you know how they work in the game as a book bag and a phone case wallet thing in my jig so yeah that's pretty cool more book bags and it's perfect for the new school season because i know that's starting up for you guys i honestly miss going to school but that's awesome so if you like fnaf might as well pick it up at gamestop whenever it comes out also you can pull it all right now so go do that we also got some exclusive little screenshots because Daka was a little bit silly. So we got our first look at Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie Hex Pluses were spotted in the background of Daka's latest video. The eyes, teeth, and parts of the characters were glow in the dark. So before we got a look at Shadow Bonnie, but now we actually got a look at Shadow Freddy. And he's very like Shadow Bonnie with the teeth and the eyes. So he's really purple looking, so it's, it's, it's cuter than Shadow Bonnie in my opinion. But it's still very creepy for the Shadow animatronics. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Docker was a little bit silly, I guess, and accident accidentally had him in the background. Or maybe he did it on purpose. I don't know. But it's something very cool. We also have another exclusive thing from Hex. It's a first look at the upcoming Springtrap Hex hoodie with illustrations by Snarls. And it's pretty cool. Like, there was a glitch thing or, like, kind of, like, glitch trap thing on the front of the thing on the hoodie. And on the back, it's that artwork that we've seen before for the springtrap hex plusy which is very crazy because it's so springtrap has his hands out and all the animatronic masks above him like because the sports and stuff it's a very cool, cool hoodie and i can't wait for it to actually you know come out so people can wear it we also got another look at hoodies so doc has been making some hoodies first look at hex's upcoming foxy hoodie part of the five nights of Freddy's one hoodie line so i guess hex is making a five nights of Freddy's uh movie hoodie line which is pretty cool so if you like the five nights of Freddy's movie I guess dude's hoodies coming out. It's made by the art is made by the same person as the screenshot hoodie above, so that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see more. Maybe it's the FNAF movie or this maybe this FNAF one. I'm guessing just the FNAF one, but the illustration looks like it came from the FNAF movie, so it's very, very high detailed. And that was all for the mods. So not a lot of mods this week, but it is the 10th anniversary so we got a lot more stuff to cover so we also got a first look at some book there's a book that just came out well not coming out it's gonna come out it's our first look at our five nights of Freddy's glow in the dark coloring book so this book features over 96 pages or 24 glow in the dark pages and will be released on august 6th i'm not sure why it's called glow in the dark coloring book if it's only 24 pages out of 96 so that's kind of lame i thought it was gonna be like fully glow in the dark but i guess not but if you want to Get this book for your children or you just like coloring yourself you can buy it it's coming out on august 6th so hope you guys like the book maybe i want i'm curious about how good the illustrations are going to be because i really like some of the art that fnaf does but we just gotta wait and see also that was all for the book news i don't like one book there is some more book news but that's for the 10th anniversary area but we also got some game news so surprisingly how the security boys got a big update on playstation 5 that we that replaces casey's ruin model with her help on a 2 model and some other stuff was changed so i like that change there's a lot of stuff that it was like 23 gigs or something it was a pretty big update i only had the ps4 version because i don't have a ps5 but if you're on ps5 tell me what you think about it do you like this new change i honestly like the help wanted 2 model way more than the original one because it looks kind of weird but 
There's also some other changes that happen on Pretty Soul, but not, not not like anything crazy like some new hidden lore and stuff. Just some visual upgrades, basically, and some other changes like motion blow and stuff like that. And also, we got some amazing other news for game news. So, if you have PlayStation Plus on August this month, you can actually get Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach for free. So, if you have PlayStation Plus, you can pick up Security Breach right now on Pretty Soul. So... That's amazing. I love Security Breach. It's my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's game, and I highly suggest people to play it. Uh, I, I know people must have heard about the bugs and stuff. That stuff has been mostly fixed out of the game. There were still still bugs and stuff. The team was like only 20 people, so you got to understand that this game is pretty big for that much people. But you can get a free right now, so go do it right now. But now that's all for the game news, and now it's for the 10th anniversary. This, by the way, guys, this is Saturday. This stuff is still going on. So more news is going to be coming out later today and later down this week. So apologies if I don't make more news videos. I'll probably make many short ones or just couple. I, I am making videos covering each subject. Well, maybe not the book. But yeah, so let's go start off with Pop Goes. So Pop Goes Arcade Fighting Chance has been released because it came out with my Pop Goes as a little update with it because it came out like on August 1st. So if you have Pop Goes Arcade, a free update came out, so you can go try it right now. And my Pop Goes has also released on August 4th. It's on sale right now for Steam for like $3.99. Uh, so basically $4, but the original price is $5. I haven't played it yet. People say uh, it's pretty good, I believe. Uh, the Cradle did not actually want to watch any videos because uh, he has anxiety of what people think of it. So that's pretty funny. And also, the Joy of Creation Remake demo has been released as well. I played it yesterday on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Very stressful game. Very scary game. It's very hard too. So, I was having trouble. It took me like one hour to actually beat it. So, it's pretty challenging. But if you guys want to play again, you might need a pretty decent PC to want it though. Because it does use Unreal Engine 5, which is a new engine basically that everybody's using now. And it's very pretty looking. It's probably the most realistic Five Nights at Freddy's game that's actually been released. But I highly suggest you to play it. It's free. It's a demo. You can go on Steam, source it up, and get it yourself. And also, as of today, the VIP book out is now for free. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, uh, Google Play, and Barnes & Noble's website for free. Absolutely free. Uh, so check it out right now. After I'm done with this video, I'm actually going to read it myself because I haven't had a chance of it. But I'm pretty sure some stuff with the mimic is involved with this. So it's pretty interesting. And it actually happens before security breach. So... It's very cool, so yeah. We also got some first look, I think today, is yeah today, we're gonna get our first looks at Five Nights at Freddy's from Click Team. The trailer released, like five laps at Freddy's, not five, whatever. But we're gonna get a trailer today at 6 p.m. ET. So, convert that to your time zone, basically, and we're gonna get our first trailer at five laps at Freddy's. And I really am lo looking forward to this game. It's probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most because I actually get my little profile picture, the little bit we designed from this game. So I'm looking forward to this and I can't wait to get the model from the game, honestly. But I can't wait for that game to the trailer to release. And we got some Five Nights at Freddy's movie news. So finally, we got some movie news. The movie's still gonna be like a year away, so they are still actively working on it. But we got two screenshots of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And the whole screenshot looks like a torso piece of an endoskeleton or mangle. So, very cool looking. Not There's not like a lot of spoilers in the first pitch. Just a, like the torso part of an endoskeleton. Which, pretty cool. Not the craziest thing ever, but it's there. And we actually got some Toy Bonnie eyes. So, we actually got our first look at Toy Bonnie's design, kind of. This, it's just Toy Bonnie's eyes. The green, so we automatically know it's Toy Bonnie. But... Very, very scary looking, and I can't wait to see the full animatronic with these eyes. It is going to be so crazy. But that is sadly all the FNAF news. There's still going to be more news over the week because it is the 10th anniversary. Pretty much this entire month is going to get news. I cover FNAF news every Saturday, so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, tell me in the comments what your favorite FNAF game is, and I'll see you guys next time.